This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 381 for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. This is Brian. <laughs> this is Lisa. Good morning. So over the weekend, oh, I was doing a little cleaning in the basement. <laughs> now that's funny. I was doing a little cleaning in the basement and uh, I came across, you know, the spring cleaning is coming up. I'm going to try to hit it early this year. Uh, I found I found a couple things that I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to put them on, you know, the old Facebook marketplace and whatever, you know, put it on the curb, whatever. Um, I decided I'm going to sell my theremin. Your what? My theremin. I haven't touched it in years. What's a theremin? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you don't know what a theremin is. No. Theremin is one of those things so, where you wave your hands. Wisconsin you wave your hands over it and it makes music. Look it up. You wave your hands in different positions and it changes the pit. Never mind. Anyway, for you musician friends out there, you're welcome. <clears throat> Sailor. Woo. What's the official name? Pen of the Year. Pen of the Year. 2021. So here's my question. Yes. If this is the Pen of the Year in January, what about stuff that's coming out later? <clears throat> it could be. Could be better. Could be better. Boom. Oh, it's sparkly. It's hard to beat sparkly. <laughs> so, actually, we just got these uh, yesterday. And uh, so you haven't this actually is, seen it. I have not. Um, I don't get to see anything cool anymore. So the pen of the year is 1911 large. Oh. Uh, and a 1911 standard. And standard. I know. I know. It's beautiful. It's, it's a great a looking deep, pen. It's a deep, deep cranberry with sparkles. It reminds me of the black velvet. Except is a red cranberry. Yes, it's cranberry. it's a deep cranberry, almost not quite plummy, but yeah, definitely uh, a dark cranberry. It's not brick red. No. no. Um, for those of you only listening to this, it's definitely a dark. Um, you know what it reminds me of is the cranberry sauce that I like at Thanksgiving. The one that you never eat because you I forget eat. it in the fridge. <laughs> She when leaves it in the fridge, and then afterwards, she's like, oh, I forgot the cranberries. Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a gorgeous looking pen. Beautiful pan. color. Um, I love the rhodium trim. Yep. Two-tone nib. So it's got that bicolor. Which I love. Rhodium gold rhodium nib, which is probably the, the nicest looking nib they make. Ooh, pop of color on there. Um, and beautiful they pen. specially engraved 2021 on the cap band. Very cool. So you know it's the pen of the year. Very cool. Uh, which makes me question whether there's going to be a pen of the year next year, but we'll see. Ooh. Um, 1911 large, 1911 standard. Mm -hmm. um, it's your standard cartridge converter. Uh, they do not make it in a Riello, but... Um, nice. Good looking pen. Beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, well good, done. Good way for them to start out the year. I think. Yes. This is solid. Super excited. Um, while, while we're on Sailor, why don't we skip around here? Um, <clears throat> you never do that. I never do that. I know, this is exciting. Okay, go. Uh, so last week we talked about going, going, gone. Yes. There are three colors that are being discontinued. Graphite Lighthouse, which uh, we are completely out of. So there Neither no, size? We don't have any slim or the full size. Okay. They're gone. We can't get any more. Graphite Lighthouse, gone. Uh, under the going, going category, the anchor gray. Mm-hmm. And the key lime, both available 1911 large and 1911 standard. We have those in stock. And with the purchase of any of those, you get a free bottle of ink. Yes. So Anchor Gray gets a one, two, three. So if you really like that ink and you're thinking about getting an Anchor Gray. That's great. Now's a chance to do it. And the key lime gets 260. Correct. Is what it is. A matching, matching lime-ish color. And it's the full-size Ink Studio bottle that normally retails for $18. So you get an $18 bottle of ink if you um, buy one of those yeah. pens. And uh, when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. Basically, all seven nib sizes from extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoom, or music. Uh, doesn't matter what you get. Three Oysters has released six new colors. Uh, we'll have the swabs up in just a few days, but um, two of them are coffee themed. These are great bottles. Close to my heart. I love these bottles. They've got this little, it's ingenious. They've got this little wow, cut that's off the side. a big word for early in the morning. I haven't had enough coffee to keep up with you. So what that does is that allows you when you get low, and, and, and I, I was questionable whether or not this actually would work very well but it stays on its corner almost magically it's really a neat hmm. yeah. a neat bottle very cool very cool uh so we have americano 
which Great. you prefer for coffee. Yes, I do. I do, absolutely. The caramel macchiato. It's a delicious. I love. Yes. And then we have peacock green and peacock blue. Okay. And peacock green. This peacock green here, I'm definitely interested in that. Are you? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah, as soon as samples are available, I'm grabbing one. You could make that happen, you know. I, I, I can make that happen today, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> what, what might happen? Uh, two of the uh, I Color You. Okay. In uh, names I can't pronounce. <laughs> you, you notice I took the sailor stuff, and at least, uh, at least it gets the pronunciation. I'm just not even going to try. I'm, I'm coming what down to the One looks like a cold. salmon color. Yes. That's this one here. Yes. And then the other is a... That's Hansen, uh, maybe. I'm sure we mangled that. It's kind of, you know, actually in the light, it's... Yeah. It's got a little bit of orangish in it. Yes, it's supposed to be kind of an orange. Orangish, peachy kind yes. of thing. Uh, so six new colors total. Gray. We are super excited. Really, I think an underrated ink. Um, really pretty colors. It's well behaved and a really awesome bottle. And who doesn't like I mean, it takes a little bit getting used to that, but who doesn't like that? I, I just think that sometimes you get so caught up in using the same stuff, you know, and, and, and Roshizuku is phenomenal. Anything by Sailor Ink is phenomenal. But sometimes, you know, Diamine has a zillion mm -hmm. colors now. Um, sometimes you should just, you know, make 2021 the year that you try some new ink brands. And, and just experiment a little. But Three Oysters has some really, really pretty colors. Estherbrook Ballpoints. Um, this is new. This is new. Uh, so the Estherbrook, um, what do you want to call Esty. that? Yes, but the whole relaunch, the revamping, mm. the revitalization. There's a big word for you. Um, revitalization of the Estherbrook line in the new SD that has been out for a couple years now. They just came, so they had fountain pens, they had rollers, mm -hmm. and now they have ballpoints. So I'm kind of excited to see these in person to see, um, is it the same size as the fountain? Is it a little thinner? Is it? I'm guessing it's going to be a hair shorter, okay. but uh, they look nice. Yep. Um, they're coming in. They're just coming in now, so you can get a matching ballpoint. Yes. Um, we're going to do these on special order basis, so we'll have some, but uh, you may have to order them in. Right. Uh, but they look nice. Apparently, the mechanism is very nice. Yes. Yes. Um, so we're excited about that. They've really, really done a great job of um, making a beautiful product. Yeah. Peter Popper Press. Pick the pack uh, of pickled peppers. We've got some. We've been carrying Peter Popper Press for a little while now, and they are just damn adorable. Um, mm -hmm. And so we are slowly expanding our offerings and we've got some new uh, designs coming. Uh, just like a lot of other brands every year, um, they discontinue some and add some new colors and patterns in. And uh, spring seems to be the time for that. Lloyd Term has some <clears throat> new things coming. Paper Blanks has some new things coming. Um, Peter Popper. And so we're, we're getting like laser cut. I don't know if they actually shipped. I think they're in back order. Okay. But well, yes, there's a la <laughs> <laughs> Wow, deflate. I'm looking forward to those. I like the laser. It, it, it was really cool because it was a tree. They called it the tree of life. I yes. think it was a laser cut and a big, beautiful tree. Yes. And just yes. really gorgeous. Really Some nice. cool designs. Yeah. So. They, they, they do a fantastic job. And they've been very popular in the store. And uh, So we're excited about those. Those are coming. <clears throat> Two new Lamy 2000s coming this week. I know, this concerns me a little. Well, you know, and I actually, and these before, are, before we started looking at this, I didn't actually know this was a thing. So. Lamy's been a thing for a well, while. Well, yeah, I know that. But but <laughs> but these particular pens, I didn't okay. know they existed. Uh, so we're getting two new ballpoints in Lamy 2000. One is yes. called the Taxus. Yes. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, uh, which is a lovely, like, light brownish wood. These are <clears> both... <throat> um, wood based yes. and so the black wood um is darker the taxis is a brown color um and the best part what's the best part they're ballpoints <clears throat> well no but the best part is you can get a black wood with a base and yes. make a desk set so it looks like the old esterbrook eight ball yes except it sits straight up yeah very cool very cool so i'm um, excited about those coming in um inko rimo <laughs> I got my first. 
<laughs> so this does count, by the way, if you do this. You just can't. So last year, I rocked it. I was in Chicago by myself. I had a lot of time on my hands, and I was desperately lonely for you. And I rolled my eyes. Could you hear that? Yes. I, <laughs> I could hear the mechanical movement in the and, back um, I actually wrote 30 and mailed 30. Okay. Now, they were postcards, most of them. That's fine. But postcards I did it. Postcards are fine. Absolutely. Um, I was supposed to get stamps. I didn't get stamps. I don't... So you're the reason. You have the car. You could stop at the post office any day of the week. I am home. And today, when I got up, it was minus three. I am not walking to the post office to get you stamps. You know, I'm help me out, folks. The, it's the tenth. I've finally gotten one in, so I, you know, I'm doing. I, I, I'm, I'm on. A, I'm on a course to do like three this year. Epic fail this year. Oh, so no, you still have time. International Correspondence Writing Month. Use your pens. Write a note, a postcard. Mail them. Hand them out. Use your pens. Write to somebody. Uh, tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Tell them how cold it is where you are. <laughs> Brag about how warm it is. My mom is. She's in Florida at the moment. Always complaining about. Oh, you know, it's only sixty-five. Like you're seventy-five degrees warmer here's, than we are. <laughs> here's here, here's a point of comparison for all of you who don't live in a warmer climate. The temperature in your fridge is about 35 degrees warmer <laughs> than what it is here in Wisconsin. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, which actually which leads, leads, leads into, into the next, the yes. nice how I did that, leads into the next, next topic of conversation. Tis the season. Let's talk about shipping. <clears throat> I know, we've been talking about shipping and the post office and this slow, is different. this is different. This is different. <clears throat> um, when it is very cold here in Wisconsin, we choose to not ship packages that contain bottled ink. Yeah. Um, Pretty much when it gets below 10 degrees for an extended period of time, yes. especially overnight when it gets in the negatives. And especially <clears throat> over the weekends, um, yeah. because there is a chance that the ink can freeze and then break the glass. Um, certain bottles are certainly more susceptible than others. so. If you notice that a package that um, should have mailed out perhaps has been um, has not left us yet, feel free to reach out in email. Generally, we reach out to you and let you yep. know that we're holding it for a few days. Um, well, and we, we give the option too. You know, if you're in in California and uh, <clears throat> really once it gets down to Chicago, Chicago's ten degrees warmer. It it you know it, it might be fine. So we we can, we'll give you the option to to accept the risk and. Yes. And we'll send it out, but we're going to hold it for yes, a little bit. for a couple days. Um, if you do want it shipped, we are absolutely happy to ship it. But if we think that it's going to sit someplace that's going to be cold for a few extra days, and especially yep. with some of the delays we've seen since Halloween, yep. um, sometimes we hold it. So if you have Sam a question... Samples are fine. Refills um, are fine. Refills are fine. Cartridges are fine. Mm -hmm. But just it's the bottled ink. That yes. We, we, we don't, it, it makes a huge mess. Yes. Um, if, if a bottle breaks. Um, so anyway, that's we talk about it once a year. And it happens about twice a year. You know, yep. we get a couple, a little bit of cold snap here at the, in uh, January, February. And then it warms up and it's, it's a non-issue. So. Do you remember <clears> the time that the UPS driver was so mad at us when the Diamine was, Hope Pink <clears throat> burst in the truck and he had to hose out the UPS truck because he had Diamine Hope Pink all over the floor. I wonder where that truck is. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyway. Story. Other than that, we are just uh, making some improvements to the website, um, working on new product. Uh, a lot of things are slowly being announced. Um, so there will be some cool things. Right. Uh, I'm excited for 2021. Uh, you, got, you don't have any other option. <laughs> it's here to stay. <clears throat> There's already a pen of the year. <laughs> I know, it's really pretty. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, updates on what's going on uh, here in Appleton and in Chicago. And uh, social media is Anderson Pens. Uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel. And we'll uh, see you next time. Bye.